Hey everybody, how you doing? Today we're going to learn a little bit about cities, the kinds of cities that uh, human beings have, have made over time, why they made them, and what that says about them. Hopefully, uh, from this, you'll learn a little bit more about the city you live in. Um, cities are, are actually fairly new. For 98% of the time we've been on Earth, we have not had cities. Regardless of where they are and what size they are, there are three basic forms of cities, the cosmic, the machine, and the organic form. The cosmic form, oldest form of cities. This is how God told us to build cities, and this is how people made these cities. Uh, these cities have a really striking sense of, of unity about them. Uh, in the cosmic city, there's a, a, everything is laid out with a purpose. Roads, buildings, streets, everything is laid, is there for a very certain purpose. Um, also, these people didn't have access to a lot of power or machinery, so they had to obey the land. Very authoritarian values. You couldn't just go to a city council meeting and complain about too many slaves living in your neighborhood. If you did that, you could be burned for fuel or sacrificed. Way uptight. Travel in the cosmic city. Very difficult, very slow. Your feet and animals' feet, that's it. Everything had to be extremely close together so the form of transportation determined the built form of the city, and it does that with every city. I would say the best example of a cosmic city in the United States would be Washington, D.C. It's very cosmic in its layout and its aspirations. Its content, though, is very secular, which is unusual. The machine city. This is what people, this is what Hollywood wants to show you when they want to show a messed up city. When they want to show a nice city, they have a subtitled foreign movie. People made machine cities when they started having access to power and steel. And the, you know, in the machine city, it is viewed as a kind of machine. The product is efficiency. They are laid out very efficiently. Um, they tended to build vertically because they had access to steel. They had certain values. They valued efficiency above all. Even slums were viewed as an efficient way to house people. Um, at the same time, in the machine city, they also had a lot of pride in their culture, and they wanted to transmit uh, places of enduring value to people who came after them, and they left us with the North End. Um, here you see uh, transportation in machine city, a lot of experimentation. People would try anything. They also imposed a grid over the city, regardless of the topography. Uh, that is a hallmark of the machine form. Uh, just about any American city over 80 years old has a legacy machine district. Again, in, uh, around here, it would be the North End, East End, and Downtown. Finally, the organic city. This is the kind of city that we live in. The city is viewed as a form of life. Uh, people who live in it obsess about its health. They want it to be healthy. They want it to be regular. In the organic city, it sprawls, it takes up a lot of room. There is a form of spatially based social engineering called zoning. If you are a single family, you live in one place. If you're a single person, you should live somewhere else. If, well, look at all those happy people. They live in an organic city. In fact, that is the chief value in the organic city is happiness. The leaders of the organic city are judged based on their ability to reconcile quality of life, economic development, and environmental preservation. Transportation in the organic city, 95% automobile. Main problem with automobiles is they consume up a lot of space. It tends to push the city outward, and it consumes all of the available public realm. What public realm does exist is in the form of landscaping or natural features. It is the natural features that give the organic city, its sense of place. Not so much what people make. Because if you look at what people make, they don't like looking at it. Um, critics of the organic city note that we don't like to paint pictures of them. We don't like to take pictures of them. Uh, it's as though we have created a place we do not like to look at. I would argue that any free society with our level of wealth and resources will, however, eventually become an organic form. Uh, the organic city really doesn't have places of stunning beauty or stunning misery. It charts in middle course. Um, I think it's fascinating how all these changes in cities parallel changes that were going on in religion, art, 
politics, science, medicine, food, clothing, families. I think it would be neat to sit around and talk about how all these things tie together. Thank you.